Hello, this is Simple Math for you. And uh, this is uh, part two of lesson Parallel Lines and Transversals. أهلا بكم في الجزء الثاني من درس المستقيمات المتوازية والقواطع. Today we are going to learn about angles and parallel lines. In the last uh, part, in the previous part, we were discussing the relation between angles with transversals. But we did not mention that the lines cut by the transversal are parallel or not. This was general case. We said that if a transversal cuts two lines, then we have eight angles formed. These eight angles have relations, either corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, consecutive interior angles, or alternate <coughs> same side interior angles. I mean, <coughs> yes. And uh, for this lesson, we will study if these lines that were cut were originally parallel. What will be the relation between these first? Actually, this is the additional part. After you determine the corresponding angles, you will find that corresponding angles are congruent by corresponding angles theorem. So if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of the corresponding angles is congruent. So here they have mentioned that these lines are parallel and they are cut by this transversal. What are the corresponding angles? In our case here, the corresponding angles are, if you remember, forming like letter F. So we have here two and four are corresponding angles. We have here four, seven and five are corresponding angles. We have also three with one and we have also six with eight. So Angle one is congruent to angle three. Angle two is congruent to angle four. Angle seven is congruent to angle five. Angle eight is congruent to angle six, means they are equal in measure. Remember, this is only if the lines are parallel. If not parallel, we cannot determine the measure. We can use any other, any other way, approach that can fit. Same apply to the alternate interior angle. So let's determine the alternate interior angles in our case. In our case, angle two, angle six, as you see here, they are forming like letter Z. So two and six are alternate interior angle. Also, we have here angle three and angle seven. So since the lines are parallel by the alternate interior angle theorem, then these angles are congruent. Now, what about Alternate exterior angles. I'll go to alternate exterior angles first. Alternate exterior angles here in our case, one is alternate exterior with five, and we have four is alternate exterior with eight. They are also congruent. Just by a quick check here, you can say, see that here, this is an obtuse angle. This is an obtuse angle. On the other hand here, this is an acute angle and this is an acute angle. Remember, if the lines are parallel, you have one of these two cases. Either the angles are congruent or they are supplementary, like the consecutive interior angle theorem. For the consecutive interior angle theorem or same side interior angle, the pair of consecutive interior angles are is supplementary. Means here, we have here angle two is consecutive interior with angle three, right? And it is very clear they are on the same side and same transversal as you see, both are interior. And it's very clear that this is obtuse, this is acute. So remember, they will not be congruent, they will be supplementary. Supplementary means their sum is equal to 180 degrees. And this applies also to seven and six. So measure of angle seven plus measure of angle six is also 180 degrees. So here we can say here sum is equal to 180. Here sum is 180. And here a special relationship also exists for uh, two parallel lines, a perpendicular line. In a plane, if a line is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines. And for example, we have two parallel lines. Let's say that this line is parallel to that line. If we have a line transversal perpendicular to one of them, 
So for sure, it will be perpendicular to other common sense. طبعا. Let's uh, uh, apply what we learned here. Real life. Dennis Avenue and State Road are parallel streets. So these streets are parallel. And the, and that intersect Newport Lane along the south side of Oak Creek. So we have here that transversal. We are transferring it to easy part. If measure of angle three is 62, so this angle is 62. He is asking about measure of angle four, which is this one. So simply this situation looks like that. Two parallel lines cut by transversal. We have angle three is 62. They are asking about this one. So we will try to find relation between these angles. This angle is in what relation with that one? Is it exterior angle with it? Alternate exterior, alternate interior, same side or corresponding? Of course, it is exterior angle, alternate exterior angle with that one. So since it is alternate exterior angles and the lines originally are parallel, then measure of angle four will also be 62 degrees. Reason, alternate exterior angles theorem. We will apply more exercises here. In this figure, measure of angle seven is 100. So this is angle seven. This is 100. Find the measure of each angle. As you see here, we have three parallel lines cut by the transversal M. And you have line U, line T, line S. They are cut by line M. So be careful to see the relation between angles. We have to find angle 9. Angle 9. Angle 9 is this one. What is the relation between angle 9 and 7? Both are lying on this transversal that is cutting this and that line. They look like letter Z in a way or another yeah, or N or whatever. So they are alternate interior. Angle. Both are interior, alternate interior angles. So they have the same measure since the lines are parallel. So this will be same as angle 700. Uh, I'm telling you the easy part here is either the angle will be either 100 or 80. It will be like supplement of that one. This is the situation for parallel lines and transversal. Angle 6. What will be angle 6? Angle 6 is linear pair with 7. So both have a sum of 180. Or you can take it in another way that 6 and 9 are consecutive interior angles. So they are supplementing each other. Their sum is 180. So for sure, this would be 80. Angle 8. Angle 8, if you know that this is 100, and we found this already 80, so you can say either by vertical angle theorem 6 and 8, 6 and 8 are vertical angles. Also, you can say by linear pair, it is supplementing the 100, so it is also 80. Going to angle 2. Angle 2, let's erase everything now. We have a clean page. Now we have this seven. What is angle two measure? If this is 100, how much is five? It is also 100 because this vertical angle with seven. Angle two is supplement 200 because they are both making U letter or we can say they are consecutive interior angles. So we can say that this is 80. Or you have already found angle 6 to be 80. We found it 80. Look at this line. Look at this line. This angle is on this angle 2, angle 6. They are forming letter F corresponding. And that means it will be also 80. Corresponding angles are congruent. Angle 5. Angle 5 is linear pair with 6. Umbayna obtuse, yani fa akid 100. Aw supplement la 2. In both cases, it will be 100. Finally, angle 11, which is far here. 
angle 11 is you can find it many ways in many ways and you, you cannot you, you can also find it in uh, uh, steps if this is 100 this is 80 this is 100 this is 100 right these are vertical angles as you see this and that are supplementary this are that are supplementary linear pair so this is 100 degrees you can find it using different language now let's go to this one we have here Two transversals. We know that angle three is 75. I would write here also angle 10 given to be 105. You are asked to find all these combinations, uh, right, all, all these angles actually. Angle two, how much? Directly, supplementary with this one, consecutive interior angle. So it is. 105, yani 180 minus 75, which is 105. Reason you can say consecutive interior angles. Angle 5, if you find this to be 105, this will be how much? Vertical angle. So same, 105. Angle 7, angle 7 is this one. As you see, it is. Linear pair with that one. So it is 105 and 180 minus 75. The reason is linear pair. Angle 15. Angle 15. Look here. This is angle 15. What is the relation between angle 15 and angle 10? Look here. They are like Z letter. So they are alternate interior angles. So it is also 105. And it is, uh, sorry, angle then 105. It doesn't look like 105. It looks uh, acute. But anyway, we will not uh, judge the sketch. It is the same as that one. Angle 15 is equal 105. Uh, angle 14, 14 is complementing that one. Or you can say it is uh, sort of supplementing, or you can say supplementing the 15, same side interior angle. So if you know that angle 15 is 105, this will be 75. You can say same size interior. We, we, we might have uh, more than one reason, uh, reason to find an angle. Finally, angle 9, the easiest part is that it is equal to angle 14, so it is equal to 75 degrees. Find the value of the variable in each figure. Explain, explain you easily. The most important part here to be noticed that these lines are parallel, and this will be your transversal. So we will find to we will try to find relation between angles given here, and then you will find the value of the variable. And if you need to find the angle, then you are replacing or substituting. He is asking about the variables only, so we need to find variable x and variable y. Let's see the first uh, variable, which is x. Now we have here this angle and this angle is given. What is the relation between them? They are both making a line. So their sum is 180. So angle 5x plus angle 40 is equal to 180. As you see, it's a line here. So we will solve the equation. 5x subtract 40, so 180 minus 40, so 5x is 140. And then you will divide by 5, and this will be 28. Now, if you know that this angle x is 28, how can you find y? If you replace here, on this angle totally, as you see, if this is 40, this will be 140 if you replace the 5 by 28, or you can directly know that sum is 180. That why I am telling you that because if this angle is known and you have here two parallel lines, what is the relation between these angles, this angle and the 140? Are they equal to each other? Yes, they are. Why? Because they are alternate exterior angles, they are both outside. Each one is in a different side of the other, and they will be equal. So the 5x, this one, which is 140, 
will be equal to the 3y minus 1 because they are altered exterior angles. Here we have used linear pair theorem. But here we used alternate exterior angle theorem because as you see, like this, this, these are the parallel lines. This is the transversal. These are like this. They are looking like that. And we will solve this equation, adding one to both sides. So 141 is equal to 3y, dividing by 3 is equal to 47. Look here, check. We have extended our reasoning, actually. As I told you, you might have more than one correct reason. It's not necessary to use the same way that I have used each time. Let's check here. We have two parallel lines with a transversal. Try to find relations. Now, this includes X and this includes the X. What's the relation between them? Look. They are alternate interior angles. I would like angles in this, the angles in this way. So alternate interior angles. So alternate interior angles theorem states that 8x minus 10 is equal to 7x. Why? Because the lines are already parallel. And when you solve, take this here, 8x minus 7x is equal to 10. So x is 10, when x is 10. We have found x here. Now, what is y? If you know that x is 10, you can replace to find this value. So this angle will be 7 times 10, which is 70. If this is 70, what's the relation between these angles? You can use this way, or you can use this as in some interior, same side interior or consecutive. So you can say that 6y plus 20 plus the angle, which is 70, together is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because they are consecutive interior angles, consecutive interior angles. Let's see how we judge that. As you see, so not, uh, sorry, consecutive interior is with that one, but we can say linear pair with this one. And you can say consecutive this with that, or you can say uh, linear pair. We have used linear pair. It will lead to the same result because Aslan, their sum is 180. So we have used linear pair. Remember, linear pair does not depend that the line is parallel or not. It will be applicable always. So I will use this better. So linear pair and 6y plus 20 plus 70 and 90. So 6y is 180 minus 90 means 90. Divide by 6, both sides. Y is 15. So we found x and y. Check your solution. But if you want to try with the consecutive interior angles, it will be fine as well. Because if this is 70, if this is 70, this is 70. So this and that alternate interior angle, not this one. 70 is this one. They are equal. So it's the same thing. You can say... Uh, that this is replaced and this will be 70, so 6y plus 20 plus 70, but using the other theorem. In this case, you will find the same result, definitely. Here, check what are the expressions that have the same variable. This and that. So what is the relation between this angle and that angle? They are alternate interior angles and since they are alternate interior angles then they are congruent that means 5x minus 7 is equal to 3x plus 17 so 5x minus 3x is 7 plus 17 so it's 2x is 24 divide so x is 12. now what about y what's the relation let's use this time that and that what's the relation between them their sum is 180 because they are consecutive interior angles. I will name them angle one and angle two. So let's see what is angle two, Aslan. What is the measure of angle two? If you replace measure of angle two is 
3x plus 17 يعني 3 times 12 plus Three times twelve plus seventeen, which is thirty-six plus seventeen, which is fifty-three. So, if measure of angle two is fifty-three, what is the measure of this one? It will be one eighty minus fifty-three. So, four y plus three plus the fifty-three together is equal to one eighty. هذول مع بعض they are supplementary because they are consecutive interior angles. So we can say 4y plus 56 is equal to 180. So 4y is 180 minus 56. Normal equations is 124. And 124 divided by 4 is 31. And that's it. Solve it alone. Check your solution. You might have another way. It's okay if you find the same answer. Let's go to real life application. A parking garage ramp rises to connect two horizontal levels of parking loop. The ramp makes a 10 degree angle with horizontal. What's the measure of angle one in the figure? As you see here, this is horizontal line and this is the, uh, you can say the floor or the ground. They are both horizontal lines. That means these lines are parallel. If this angle is 10, so this is definitely 10 using alternate interior angle theorem. So this, is then using alternate interior angles theorem. So what is one? As you see, both lying on the same line. This is 10, and how much is this? They are forming linear pair. So measure of angle one is 180 minus 10, which is 170 degrees. Easy and mentally can be done. 7th Avenue runs perpendicular to 1st and 2nd Street. It is shown here that this is right angle, which are parallel. However, Maple Avenue makes 115 angle with the 2nd Street, and it is shown here. What is the measure of angle 1? We try to find a relation between them. Actually, it is indirectly found. This angle is congruent to this because they are corresponding. So, this like F letter. So if this angle is 115, how much is this? Together they are forming 180. They are linear pair. So a measure of angle 1 is 180 minus 115, which is 65 degrees. Mm -hmm. A carpenter is building a podium. The side panel of the podium is cut of rectangular piece of wood. The rectangle must be sewed along the dashed line in the figure. You have here the summary is on the uh, this uh, sketch. What is the measure of angle one? Simply, we have here two horizontal lines. This angle is 116. How much is this one? Simply, we can sketch it this way. This is 116. How much is this? They are same side interior angles, or we can say consecutive interior angles. That means measure of angle 1 is 180 minus 16. I cannot say that if I don't know that the lines are parallel. But since the lines are parallel, because it's a rectangle, rectangle means opposite sides are parallel also, not only congruent. So if you subtract 180 minus 116, it will give us 64 degrees. Last example, find the value of X and Y in the trapezoid. Trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides and it is shown here. We need to find X and Y. How can we do that? Actually, this line is parallel to that one. This is the first part. And this is cut by this transversal. That means this angle plus this angle is 180 degrees. So we can say the, that together add up to 180 because they are consecutive interior angles. So 2x plus uh, 86 plus 12, which is 98, is 180. So 2x is 180 minus 98 which is 82, 
dividing by 2, 41. Similarly, we will do the same thing here for the y. For the y, we have also now this transversal cutting that side. So this angle and this angle are supplementary. Plus the other angle is 180. Y plus 3Y is 4Y. 4Y plus 44 is 180. So 4Y is 180 minus 44 is 136, dividing both sides by 4, giving you 34. And we have applied here a geometry application as well. With that, we have done lots of exercises about uh, parallel lines and transversals and the relation between angles. Hope you enjoyed. أرجو أن تكونوا قد استمتعتم. راجعنا كثير من المفاهيم الخاصة بالcorresponding angle وهي المتناظرة. Alternate interior angle المتبادلة. Consecutive interior angles وهي الزوايا الداخلية وعلى جهة واحدة من القاطع. Alternate exterior angles وهي الزوايا المتبادلة الخارجية والتي كانت كلها متطابقة في حالة الخطوط المتوازية إلا في حالة same side interior angles هي الزوايا الداخلية فهي تكون متممة لبعضها البعض يعني مجموعهما 180 درجة نشكر لكم حسن استماعكم ونرجو بقاءكم معنا في الدروس القادمة شكرا لكم Thank you very much